This is Mike, Kells Heating Company, Boston, Mass. Um, here we have a storage tank that has failed. Um, a storage tank is basically hot water for your showers, your faucet, your sink. Um, the water is heated by your boiler, which is also heating the house. There's also a separate zone where the hot water comes into the tank leaves the tank through a coil which is inside the tank goes in to the boiler and makes a circle um, that's the hot water going out to the house that's the cold water coming in to the tank so cold water comes in like any other water heater comes into the tank gets heated up and leaves the tank hot in this case, there's no flame or electricity. It's just a very hot coil. It's a coil of tubing that spirals up inside the, the tank itself. And it's very hot. So it's basically transferring heat to the water. Same principle as putting ice cubes in a glass of water or another beverage. Same principle. So today we are cutting out this old white storage tank made by U.S. Boilers. Um, the problem was the relief valve on the boiler kept blowing off and leaking. Normally when that happens, the storage tank, or excuse me, the expansion tank here fails. And what the expansion tank does is allow the hot water to expand into something. So it acts like a lung for the boiler. When uh, cold water heats up, it will expand in size or volume, and that expansion has to go somewhere. The system is sealed through all the baseboard and all the tubing. There is no way out. So it goes into this tank. And inside this tank, there is a rubber diaphragm, kind of like a bag. And it sits inside the tanks, it's sealed, and that bag is surrounded by pressurized air. And this one here, it's 12 PSI. So, <clears throat> that's your expansion tank. Usually when that fails, and you have a water pressure of around 20, this one's down because we drained it. 